Hey guys, I'm going to run through a fresh X1 validator install demo using the X1 console. For this, you need a dedicated server. I've already logged in my server and I got the X1 console GitHub loaded in the back. I've also got x1val.online here. Once you're logged into your server, you need to create a new user. All I am doing is copy pasting the commands from the GitHub. When you're creating a new user, change the username for this command. I'm going to use test005. You guys can use whatever you want apart from root or admin. Then we give that new user admin rights. Copy paste this command and change username to your actual username. Like so. Okay, now we log into our new user. Copy paste the command and change the username again. There we go. I am logged in. Now to clone X1 console. The clone command opens the X1 console directory for you too. Copy this command. This command will launch X1 console. There's the opening console dashboard. There's an image of this in the GitHub too. Next, I am installing X1 Validator. To install the Validator, navigate to the other menu, option 10, and run install, start X1 and pinger, option 1 in the other menu. Do you have existing X1 Validator wallets? For a new install, no I don't. Type in no and enter. It will ask for your user password. It started the install procedure. You will get this prompt, configure firewall to allow access ports. Proceed with operation. Enter Y for yes. It's opened your ports and downloading Solana command line interface. This installation very easily sets up an actively voting and block producing validator, which is pretty cool. You don't even need any technical experience. You may get a couple of screens pop up for user response. I didn't this time. If you do get a screen, leave the default settings as they are and just press enter. Always keep default settings on any prompt that shows, including this one. It just finished installing Rust and Cargo. Now it's cloning the Tachyon validator from X1 Labs repository on GitHub. And now building the Tachyon validator. It could take a few minutes, so I'm gonna to skip to near the end of the build. Okay, the validator has been built and it has generated the wallets. If I scroll up, you will see the wallets and seed phrases for each wallet. Back up your seed phrases, keep them safe and don't show them to anyone. Make sure you read this user message as it requires you to manually fund your ID wallet. So there's my ID pub key and it gives me a faucet link where I can fund my wallet. On mainnet, you will have to fund your wallet through other means like buying XNT on an exchange if you don't have any or burning XCN on any of the chains it's on. So here is the faucet. Complete the CAPTCHA first.
Paste your ID wallet address and hit submit. You will see a transaction confirm message at the bottom. Once the transaction has been confirmed and your ID wallet has funds, go back to the terminal and press enter. The console confirms you have enough funds and then sends one XNT to your identity wallet, registers your stake account and funds it with a default amount of two XNT and registers your vote account. The console then copies the Tachyon validator to your path and starts your validator getting ready to delegate your stake to your validator. You got some extra little bonuses here. The console sets up a log rotate for you, so you don't need to worry about your validator log file getting too big. The maximum size it will go is 25 gigabytes, then rotate it keeping one as a backup. It waits a little for the validator to start running properly before attempting to delegate. Okay, there is the confirmation signature that it has successfully delegated the stake. It now needs a couple of minutes for the console to sync with the blockchain. The console here carries out a stake check and informs you when your stake will activate. I'm gonna fast forward near the end of those two minutes. It has completed the stake check and a message to read. Your validator has started. If your status still shows as delinquent, then please check validator logs for a slow snapshot download. If logs do show a slow snapshot download, let it finish downloading before checking the validator status again. I'm now gonna check my validator status and see if I got this up and running on the first install. Press enter. The install procedure has finished. It shows you the wallet pub keys that were generated and also set up the pinger here. Option 8 to go back to main menu. And would you look at that? Status active. The console has set up a voting and block producing X1 validator. Not everyone will get active status on the first install. If you see status delinquent, don't worry. Carry on with the procedures here, then watch the troubleshooting tutorial. To finish off, we close the console with option 11. Copy paste the export path command from GitHub. Then we need to close the terminal and log back in. Once you're logged back into your server, to get back into your console, run the final two commands from GitHub. Now you're back onto the console dash. Status is active. I can go check on x1val.com to see if my validator has made the active validator list. We are looking for identity pub key starting with a Z96. We scroll right to the bottom. And there it is. And that's all there is to it, to creating your own validator on X1. I hope you guys find this helpful and we can make X1 a success together. Thank you for watching.